why will we eat out when we can use that same money that if we just ate dinner at home and then we can go see a show is learning how to allocate Mm -hmm. funds that you do have but it's hard to see what you have when you're just being willy-nilly so i think that comes from the goals that we set individually of me i want to be able to provide and get my wife anything and how can i compare my personal goals to our goals so uh, i guess we can go back and forth on the things that we agree upon such as one doing this podcast Mm -hmm. because in the beginning you know, it was very much heavily my ideas was something that I kept pushing and like saying that this is what I think we should do this. Yeah. And um, but I'm glad and happy to see that, you know, you've been texting me. Yo, Jamal, pod. I mean, where does this come from? Is there even a question? Like, yeah, she's not even asking me. She's telling me. Yo, Jamal, Yo, we, pod. Pod. <laughs> we podcasted tonight. <laughs> what? Like, um, What made you turn around? What, what made you get on board? I've been on board. I've been on board with the podcasting. I just think I was less um, enthusiastic about it or Mm -hmm. unable to show as much enthusiasm because of my own anxieties, which is I'm very honest with you about like, hey, Mm -hmm. it's not you. It's not what we're doing. That might not be the issue. If it is that I don't want to do something or like I have a a specific problem with like a, a, a recording or whatever, you know, I'll tell you. But in general, I'm typically on board it's just harder for me to show a lot of en- enthusiasm because of like either the anxiety that comes with it and I don't know why exactly I, it's just like the thought of doing something and starting something which is a whole different thing that we've talked about like starting your own thing like being creative and starting your own ventures and as opposed to just like you're still putting yourself out there you know even if like only two people watch this episode you're still saying I'm going to do this and I'm going to I'm going to actually give it a shot, mm-hmm. not just tiptoe in one foot in one foot out. Like, because if you actually want to see if it's going to work, you have to actually try to put yourself out there. You have to actually put yourself out there, go all in. And then if it fails, then, you know, it failed because because it just didn't work, not because you didn't actually try at it. Yeah. And I think a part of me that gives me some anxiety because it's like, well, dang, we actually have to try at it and it's not a you thing it's it's a me thing that's just comes with anything um for me that i take a shot at and i realized something like i've kind of just chosen things and picked things like even with going to school which i don't regret going to school you know i learned and got my degree and everything Mm -hmm. um but i realized i feel like a part of my perception and like what i what i was going for was because it seemed like the more secure route. It seemed like, okay, this is a route that makes sense. It's more secure. I'm going to be successful. Not that it's going to be easier, but the route is easier. Safer. If that makes sense. Yeah. Safer. Safer. <laughs> um, and now I'm realizing, like, nothing's really easy. It's just what you're willing to put the work in. Because, quite frankly, I'm like, dang, 45 hours a week in the office? Yeah. I don't know about this. <laughs> like, I don't have much in me and I'm only 25. So, yeah, I think that's really what pushed me more is that I'm like, you know what? I do want to build something for ourselves. And I didn't I didn't have the percept the perspective to think the way that I'm thinking now. Like when I was 18, 19, I wasn't thinking, yeah, you know, what about how we take care of our home and when we want to travel and visit our family and friends and when we have kids? I don't want to have a kid. And take three months of maternity leave and then have to go back to work and leave my three month old somewhere. That's me. Like, it's not it's not a judgment thing. I personally don't want to do that or I don't think I want to do that. Maybe I'll have kids and be like, never mind. Take them, you know, take this child. I hope not. I hope that's not (laughs) how I feel (laughs) after I have a kid. But, you know, like that's not the reality that I see for myself or for our home, for our family. So, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Part of that as being your husband, it's dancing with the steps, assertive or compromising. And I feel like, and it's okay for me to feel like this. It's not okay for me to like try to demand it. But I strongly believe that I, I know what's best for you, especially, (laughs) you know, talking to God who knows what's best for you and Mm. knowing you. Mm. Um, But I leave these, those like that knowledge of me knowing that right here, over here. And then I, take what you tell me that you want 
And then like I compare and I'll be like, okay, so I, I was right about this. I was right about this. All right. I was wrong. I was a little right about that, but I was wrong about that. So then now that I have like this rubric of my assumptions, plus what you tell me, I'm like, all right, Tay tells me the kind of life that she wants. And I still think there's parts that she doesn't know that she wants yet. Such mm-hmm. as you tell me all the time you want to work. And I tell you all the time, if I was making like a boatload of money, why would you still choose to work? I'm just like, come on. Like I make enough from both of us that it doesn't make sense.